Kol Yisrael Arevim Zelazeh, a space for Jewish students, is about to be torn down. It is our own home, our own neshama, that is being affected over here. Ten years ago, my wife and I moved to Towson originally, and we reached out to Jewish college students. Some of them reached out to us right away. It was a little slow in the beginning, but slowly and slowly we got to know more people. I met Mendy and Shaney at one of the religious events on campus, and they were very welcoming from the start. Mendy's just been there for me for the past four years. He made me feel welcome since the beginning, and really forms that personal relationship with you right away through your full four years here at Towson. Shaney is one of the most energetic, welcoming people I have ever met. Any student that comes here, she's just open arms. When we first started out, we had a smaller house and one child. It was very clear from the beginning that, you know, the house was 2,000 square feet. The old house was really small for what they needed. It was very, you know, shoulder to shoulder because you try and pack 40 people in a living room and there'd be tables and chairs. There would be people overflowing into the living room, the dining room. As our family grew and our student family grew, it started being obvious that we needed more space. Building the addition has been an adventure. You know, we went through the process and it went back and forth between the county and the councilmen and the neighbors. And almost every time they'd ask for something, we'd give them that, would just shift from, you know, now they cared about appearance, next time they cared about use. And we were always totally clear exactly how we use our home. They're young college students. They're looking for a home that they can go to. They're not really looking for an institution. They're in an institution. It's really nice to go somewhere where you have a home cooked meal and a house and you get to be around kids. To be able to step back into that home environment is so meaningful to so many people. At the end of a long process, the county eventually gave us a permit to build. I remember the joy and excitement on his face when he announced the build, and he said it was something that was so desperately needed for him to continue. With a lot of effort, a lot of work and persistence, we managed to put up a building. Since we expanded our home, our shlechus has blossomed. I remember this place got built and we came in here and I was just amazed. It was more space, but it still had that cozy, warm, homey feel. Seeing the amazing space that we have being here for Shabbos with 50 people and no one being squished at all. The kitchen is unbelievable. For me, cooking with students, it's a very relaxed time. I'm able to connect with them on a very personal level. We laugh, we talk. They don't want to go uptown on Thursday night. They prefer to sit and peel potatoes and to make matzo balls. It was always a very family feeling and we felt very, very comfortable here. The legal trouble we find ourselves in now. In the middle of construction, the neighbors found a covenant. A covenant between two properties and whether we had violated the covenant. The covenant restricted us from building in front of 112 and a half feet from the, from the street, and the addition ran all the way to about 53 feet from the street. The neighbor that had the covenant went to court to get a stop work order. The judge refused the stop work order. And so we continued with the construction at the advice of many people and it wasn't a major issue. A couple of months after construction was actually completed, we finally got to court. The plaintiffs brought evidence that the damage to their property was $17,000 of damage. The judge, shockingly, ruled that a million dollar building should be destroyed. It makes no sense. Every lawyer who has seen it says it's completely completely beyond the pale. I believe there were even efforts made on behalf of Chabad of Towson and the Rifkins to compensate her for it many times over, but the offer was refused. When push came to shove, we offered, okay, we'll move the building back. You know, it would have been expensive. Instead, they insisted that the building should needs to be demolished. The students were very upset. I, I remember students saying, you know, we volunteer so much in the community. We're part of this community. Why do they have a problem with us having our space in the community. They don't feel that this is a covenant issue. They don't feel that this is a youth issue. They feel that they are being targeted because they're being Jewish. I mean, all they ever teach is love and kindness. I cannot imagine how devastating it would be to see them without this space now that they finally have it. The situation with our building is unfortunate because we're investing so much time fighting to keep it up instead of using our energy for what we love doing and what we do all the time. On November 2nd, the judge issued an order. She wrote her opinion in such a way which made an appeal basically impossible. There's a 45-day period before this is actually going to be implemented where a receiver who has control of the property will do whatever the court says. 
hurts. This hurts, it hurts very badly. I've known the rabbi and Shani for many, many years, and they are the epitome, an example of how a rabbi and a rebbetzin should be. And the students are about to be hurt in the most terrible way. We're gonna survive and we will stay here. We're not going anywhere. The responsibility and the obligation that we fulfill for the community through the students and the way they express that tells us that we don't have the option of going anywhere. We have experience over the course of years of these kind of agendas with a patina of legality thrown over them, but underneath there is an entirely different current that's going on. I think it's a chayv, it's an obligation of everyone to stand up for the way a rabbi was treated and to see that the effort, the work that's done at Towson University continues and thrives.